Hi guys, welcome back to the Golf Magic channel. I'm Alex and today you're joining me at Manning's Heath Golf and Wine Estate on a lovely March day. And we're reviewing the new Motocaddy S1 DHC electric trolley. I've also got a lovely Motocaddy bag to go along with it. The Motocaddy S1 DHC is the brother of the Motocaddy S1. DHC stands for Downward Hill Control. So it's got a few extra features, the downhill control feature, the DHC wheels as well, and an electronic brake. Comes slightly more expensive than the S1, but not too much. I'm gonna talk about both trolleys, the S1 and the DHC, because they come with so many features, and I really do think this new model here should be at the top of your list if you are looking for an electric trolley in 2022. I won't talk about all the features, because if I did, this would probably be about an hour and a half video, but let's talk about my favorite. For the 2021 model, we have a next generation high power 28 voltage system which is more powerful efficient and it's just going to last and be a lot more durable in terms of ease of use with this trolley i'm absolutely blown away by for me how easy it was just to function straight away as soon as i got it out of the box I'm not really that much of an electric trolley enthusiast. I haven't used that many, but I have used the previous S1. This is so easy to use, so easy to put together and then to fold up, put in your car. I don't think there's an easier trolley for this price bracket. With the ease of use, you also have a very complimentary design with this trolley as well. Motorcaddy are known for making one of the best looking trolleys out there and the S1 is sleek. It's very aesthetically pleasing and it's one of those trolleys that has quite a modern futuristic look to it, but it's not too bulky that it's too heavy. But how does it function on the course? Guys, on the fifth hole here, let's play a few holes, talk about it and see how easy it is to use on perhaps one of the hilliest courses in Sussex. Let's go. How is it fading? <sighs> One thing this trolley is, is extremely robust. Oh, let me turn it down. This trolley, for the course that I'm playing, it, I mean, it's going over those cobbled paths that the trolleys have to go over. It is bouncing all over the place and this trolley is showing no signs of wear. I can note that the DHC wheels are picking up quite a lot of mud, but look, in the southeast of England, anything's gonna pick up quite a lot of mud. So, so far, for the price, I think it's pretty justified because I can tell this is gonna last easily, probably about a decade for the new S1 trolley. Having a motor caddy bag as well makes it quite beneficial because you can have the easy lock compatibility. I'll show you now, you've got some little screws you can actually put right through the trolley and it means it's virtually impossible for the bag to fall off. I actually haven't done that today because I wanted to test out just the compatibility if you didn't have a motor caddy bag. And so far, I mean, it's extremely secure. There's no way it's gonna fall off and I'm testing it going up and down everywhere. At roughly 600 pounds for the S1 or the DHC, that is a lot of money, but they're very hard to get hold of right now. They're practically out of stock everywhere because people are aware that these trolleys are durable. The name motor caddy speaks for itself because it's had years and years of positive service, positive customer service, and there's no real negatives. Would I recommend the DHC option over the just the standard S1 option? It's, it's a good point. For what is quite a small incremental price increase, you do actually get quite a substantial amount of features. What I think the UK suffer with is courses like Manning's Heath. It's hilly, it's bumpy, and in some situations with trolleys, for such an expensive price, you can get situations where they'll fall over, they'll damage themselves. So to get some reassurance of having the DHC features, whereby you're going along a bumpy path, you're going downhill, and you're not worried it's gonna tip over, I think for that price, it's certainly worth it. And it's almost silly to not get the little upgrade. The only problem I do have with it being DHC is it's, it's not it's not a UHC. Uphill, it does still struggle a little bit. You have to be a little bit wary when you're going uphill and definitely, definitely hold it because it could tip back on you. It has for me. Having a motor caddy bag with the S1, with the DHC makes it such a complete package. And similar to other trolley reviews I've done, it does make the round of golf a lot more enjoyable. It's a nice easy stroll without having 30, 20 kilos on your back. And what I have a massive benefit with this is you can store so much stuff in there. I've got a gimbal, a camera, a tripod, a drone. I've got about 50 kilos worth of stuff in that. And it's perfectly fine with that weight. So when you're going into summer, when you're getting about three to four gallons worth of water, that's not a problem at all. Whereas if you're carrying, if you're using a push trolley, it's a bit of an issue. 
They're good. So, should you buy this trolley, this trolley right here, the Motocaddy S1 DHC? Well, I think what Motocaddy have done here is they've made arguably the most popular trolley ever even better. At £650, there's no denying it is a lot of money for the DHC, but as I said, there is so many features available. I urge you guys to go over to MotoCaddy and GolfMagic.com to look at all of them. I haven't mentioned all of them. There's even a USB feature right by the dashboard so you can charge your phone, whatever you want. Just those little touches make it such a nice trolley because MotoCaddy have covered every single base here and made it a trolley for the starters, the beginners, the novices, the PGA Tour players, everybody. I'm sure I haven't answered all of you guys' questions, so if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. There'll be a lot about battery. I've used this battery for 36 holes, so I'm sure you guys can as well. I wouldn't recommend it because we'd always recommend after 18 holes, charge your batteries just in case anything bad happens. But you can definitely squeeze out 36 with how big and how new this lithium battery is. I know there is an array of electric trolleys out there right now, guys. There's so many brands available, but I do think the S1 and DHC is the one to go for. I've got a few more holes to play with this wonderful trolley and the bag as well. So I'm going to do that. Until the next video, guys, I'll see you later.